somehow climbed out of a dead loss position only to make the last blunder. So Hikaru, he had the last laugh in the five mm -hmm. plus one segment. Who will have the first laugh in our next hour of three plus one? And the gong sounds again, a Queen's Indian yet again. Yeah, interesting. I'm trying to, I, I guess technically uh, going back to that one game they did have in it, uh, it, it didn't really go Hikaru's way, but I think he was quick to, to realize it well, didn't have anything to do with the opening. So he was happy to try this one again, but in a shorter time format. Now, I'm actually going to be paying close attention, Dania, to the time situation. Early on, it's actually in Hikaru's favor, but he has been down on the clock against Magnus Ooh. a lot in this match. Ooh. And what just happened there is... I. I pretty much standard fare this knight g5 94 sequence is common mm -hmm. in a lot of different types of positions can we rewind it we're on the same page yet again Amon. Yeah, we have knight to. g5 <laughs> so what's the idea of this move it's a double attack knight g5 is against the h7 square which is mate and bishop takes b7 so if you take on g5 you allow bishop takes b7 and black actually loses the exchange because you can't guard the rook on a8 and save your knight at the same time so mm -hmm. that's why hikaru covered with his knight onto e4 covering the mate covering the bishop and garnering for himself a tempo that he uses in order to cut the contact between the two bishops by developing the knight and now the game uh is much more stable what do you make of this position that they currently have yeah that was a great explanation exactly what the players were thinking now i think with the queen's indian i always have to just hand that little bit of an edge to uh to white just based on the structure like you have more space more control of the center but this extended f pawn is what i'm focusing on for hikaru here this is going to give his pieces some scope on the f file and if you back that pawn up to f5 and maybe give white the f4 move then i think the edge in terms of the space is really clear so i like this move that hikaru has managed to get in i think it's balanced yeah i mean it's hard to say whether, you know, the, the weight of white's superiority in the center. Because if you just look at the center, white's got the pawns on d4 and c4. White's got the potential breakthrough with d5. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, he doesn't have his light squared bishop anymore, Amon. And he's just allowed the move f3. Girl, <laughs> Magnus, <laughs> calm down here. <laughs> f3? Anybody? Any yeah, takers? this is... <laughs> Going once? f3 and queen h3. And I think everyone is, you know, chomping at the bit to checkmate Magnus Carlsen in that fashion. I mean, look, he does have ways that he can prevent this. King h1, of course. Eventually, you'll get a queen uh, to f1, queen d3, rook g1. But why do you want to have to defend that position? That's what I'm wondering. Well, I'm wondering that too. I'm on, I'm on f3, <laughs> and it's on the board. And e4, why? To prevent queen f5. But Hikaru says, I'm going to fly through a different airport. No direct fl flight from Charlotte, so I'm going to drive to Atlanta. And, and fly to h3. But queen g4 is met with king h2. And I think Magnus's general philosophy here, Amon, is that in the time that it takes for black to set up all these threats, Magnus mm -hmm. has imperceptibly built a really impressive center. He's also blundered the move rook f4, and I think he's losing the threat of this game. Yeah, king, and by the way, h4, while I understand it, I actually thought that h3 was a smarter decision for the same idea, king h2. Um, after rook f4, oh. I think the engine, oh, by the way, yeah, no, no, uh, really? Come on, come on, Daniel. come on. And now rook a to f8, crazy. I think. I think oh, that the goodness. engine doesn't understand how good this is for black. Like, I think this is actually one where Hikaru understands that he's completely winning and the engine is actually still coming to that game. oh my gosh oh my gosh there's an incredible move here you want to right, go rook takes it? h4 most people want to do it but white plays rook takes f3 and eliminates the pawn so what you do is you deflect the queen with knight takes c4 then you play rook takes h4 and there is an unstoppable mate threat along the h4 for example queen d3 i'm on black just plays queen g4 and that's not the end of it let's say white plays d5 rook h1 yep. check whoop king takes h1 queen h3 and queen g2 how sexy would that be and yes i said wow. the word because no other word would accurately describe this combination truly i mean this t talk about a game after the break like magnus just came came out and played this e3 allowing f3 and now, now it feels like he's just getting checkmated and he's slowly coming to that realization this is not the way you want to start the three plus one section
And Hikaru knows that something exists. He has now paused for a minute, which is a long time in a three-minute game. I think he's searching, searching he for that crushing blow. Knight takes C4 is an incredibly difficult move, not only because it sacks a piece, but because it occurs on the other side of the board. With 30 yeah. seconds on the clock, Hikaru better find it because he might no longer have the time to manage this position for a long time. He needs to checkmate Magnus now, and he has found it! Unreal. And he Unreal. has found what a it. a move. Knight takes c4. You explained it perfectly. Deflecting the queen. All you need is that one moment, that one move after rook h4 to play queen g4. And look, technically this is playable if you take and maybe give up the rook, but you're, you're lost and Hikaru knows it. What a game, what a combination, and there's basically only two players on the planet that can find a move like this in a blitz game, and they're sitting in front of us right now on the camera. One is Magnus, reminds me of his knight takes b4 move against Vidit. How the yeah. delicious irony, right? Knight takes b4, now we shift at one file to the right, Hikaru finds knight takes c4. Is Magnus going to find knight takes d4, sacking the knight in the next game? <laughs> yeah. We're just going to work our way over <laughs> yeah, brilliancies. Yeah. Rook takes h4 and it's over. Queen g4 is unstoppable. Queen takes g3! <gasps> oh, oh my gosh! There's a queen sack no, on g3 and that, f1 that leads to me and he's done it! Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, oh, that Hikaru. is beautiful. The word sexy, no, we have to use it again, Daniel. didn't, girl. Oh.